Hello everyone. Now we will do the Fermi energy experiment. So aim of the experiment is to find out the Fermi energy of this copper wire or this copper metal. Okay. First thing is the what are the we are going to use the copper wire then this water to heat this. This is a water bath. So first we will heat this water. And then that heat is uh, transferred to the copper wire. Then this is a digital multimeter to measure the resistance of this copper wire. This is the thermometer to measure the temperature. This is the coil. This is the heating element to heat this water. First we will lower this, we will dip this uh, copper wire into the water bath. Then to heat that, I will insert this heating element into the beaker. To measure the temperature, I will insert the thermometer into the water bath, which will measure the temperature of the coil. Because the temperature of the water bath and the coil will be in the equilibrium and we can measure the temperature of the copper coil. <clears throat> to measure the resistance, I will use this digital multimeter wherein this has to be kept in the 200 ohms range. This has to be kept in the 200 ohms range. So there will not be any polarity because we are going to measure the resistance of the copper wire. Now this is the initial resistance of the copper wire. This is at the temperature 25 degrees Celsius. Now I will start heating the copper wire. Now as I start heating this, the temperature will raise. We have to wait for 2 to 3 minutes to raise of the temperature. And you can able to see the resistance in the digital multimeter, it starts changing. As the temperature increases, resistance of the metal will increase, so that the copper wire resistance will also increase. Now the temperature is around 93 degrees Celsius. Now I will off the uh, heating of the water. Now we have to wait uh, till the temperature reaches to 90 degrees. Okay, and then we have to note down this resistance of the coil. Okay, now we should uh, take the readings like this. Uh, 90 degrees, what is the resistance? Now it is 93 degrees Celsius. We have to wait till it reaches to 90 degrees. And then we have to take the uh, 90 degrees resistance. Then 85 degrees. Then 80 degrees, what is the resistance, corresponding resistance? Like that till 45 degrees uh, we have to take the resistance of the coil. You may ask question that uh, we are heating the copper coil and then cooling it. While cooling we are taking the readings. Why not while heating? Okay, We would have taken the uh, readings of resistance while heating itself. The answer is because while heating the temperature will not be uniform. While cooling the temperature of the coil will uh, dissipate uh, uniformly and we can take the accurate resistance value. That's why we have to take the cooling readings, not the heating readings. And note down in the tabular column, note down in the tabular column and use this formula that is we are going to find out the energy, the Fermi energy that is F of E of F. Okay. Now we have to plot this graph, we have to plot this graph that is resistance versus the temperature. Uh, we will get a straight line, take the slope and we should substitute the slope in this formula and find out the answer. What is the answer we are going to get is the 
answer will be in the joules that is the assigned we can convert that into electron volts and what we are going to get we should write it